episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official teaser chart for Bumblebee. This is the newest movie from the Transformers saga, slash the final movie of this Transformers saga. Uh, and it is a prequel, like I said. Yeah. This it is... stars John Cena, Haley, Haley Steinfeld, Steinfeld, and Bumblebee. And Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, we're counting the robot. So essentially, this is a prequel showing casing events of when Bumblebee first arrived on Earth. Earth. He was one of the first to arrive because he had yeah. to scout Earth pretty much. So it's going to be interesting how they play things out. And like we said, this is the final movie in the Transformers <laughs> Cause saga because yeah. Hasbro has announced that they're going to reboot the series. Reboot the series. We don't know why, but maybe it's a good thing. If it's a Michael Bay less reboot of the series, then uh, I'll possibly be it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, and John Cena's playing a military guy, because of course John Cena's playing a military guy. So, you know, uh, and also the, the Bumblebee we're getting is a classic Bumblebee. Too. The Volkswagen Beetle. The Volkswagen one. Beetle, but also his look as well, with yeah. the, based so, on the original. Yeah, so... It says, dive right into this, see what we're getting into ourselves into for, oh thank god, our last Transformers for this... For now. For now. Until hopefully maybe they can do something better. So, again, this is for Bumblebee. The official teaser trailer. So, here we go. Three, two, two uno. uno. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Holy. In the beginning, there was man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Opening shots. Like. She finds him. That's where she gets Bernie the name. Mac. Yeah. Car picks the driver. driver. That's God cool. damn, I like that. I see. Jeez. Jeez. I love that. That's where she gets named Bumblebee, though. That's cool. Oh crap. Uh, Transformer part fell off. It's been like that for so long. Oh, the face! Oh, here it comes! Yeah, there it is. What's up? It's been like that for so long, it hasn't done it in a while. Oh, shit! Oh, over, over her. I'll be like, um... Wow. Wow! Wow. I love that. It's right, remember. His voice box is broken when he crash landed. Aww. What's your name? What's your name? Every adventure has a beginning. There's John yeah, Cena as a military guy. Oh, classic star screen. The classic. You got people out there who need you. Oh, look the look. This is why you're here, B. This is why you're here, B. Oh, oh goddamn! I got to get choked up. Music can help you say what you're feeling. I heard about this. Wait, wait for it. You uh. <laughs> We get no. So, so que there's a couple questions I have because I don't. There's not much to go over, but um, yeah. Cool questions I have. So, what happens to Haley Steinfeld's character after this movie? That's a good question. There, that's, um, that's something that I wouldn't mind. I will admit that's clever how they went with Bumblebee because there's a high, like some bees formed a high under one. Yeah, that's um, right. And she mentioned, you know, you know, hey, B, you know, yeah. like she nicknamed. Um, Star, we get classic Star Scream. That's pretty cool. So it looks like Star Scream and him are the. Bumblebee are the one of the first ones that probably land there on Earth. Yeah, and it's like it's uh, it's up to Bumblebee to stop Starscream for Two, a little bit. Two, I will give credit to one big thing. It's when he used Bree Max lines about. I know a, that's what, that's what, that's what it brought. Like like it got me choked up. up I'm like oh god damn because because Bernie May Mac made that it made that this great line there you know and and I mean, rest in peace you know it's like wow just to hear that it's one not last the driver time. that makes the car is the car that makes the driver you know and just. As I said, this one just got me choked up. I don't know why, it's just, it got me choked up because it's like, just the way Bumblebee is. Because you're just like, oh my god. Honestly, you know? I, I want to see an actual full trailer, but yeah. I am intrigued. 
I, I cannot say that about the last one because I still haven't even seen the last one. We haven't seen the last one, but I know our reaction was it doesn't look bad. This one, but it looks. I kind of have a tiny smidge of hope. I, me too, and it, it would suck if they end this on a great note, pretty much. It would suck because it's like, this is when you do it right type of yeah. thing, you know? If you do it right, this is how you do it. So I'm praying and hoping like, it does At good. most, from the original movies, I can see a cameo from John Turturro's character. Yeah, it, like, it, we were talking about this before, going, that'd be a great shot, you know, a great way to end it where you got, you know, what is it, Sector 6, I believe? I Sector forgot. 7, Sector, Sector 6. Sector 6 or 7, or so, no, it was, yeah. It was Sector 7 because they had the seven the yeah. seven people who found everything. But, you know, maybe they show up by the end of it and that's where he has to go back in hiding. Now, that would be a great way of how they end it. It was where he arrives to... Maybe he's just... He, the, the movie... I know what you're saying. He, the it movie ends, ends where he, he winds up at Bernie Mac's um, car dealer. Yeah, when he pulls up pretty much. And that's what he does. Um, but... God, they, like I said, this one's going to be tough. I, I think that's the only thing I'm concerned about is they have to explain why Haley Steinfeld and even John Cena's characters why are, they're not, aren't, aren't, yeah, are, are in the pretty much rest of the films, pretty much. Yeah. And you good know? for John Cena, though. Like, getting on that uh, movie franchise bandwagon, probably slightly a bit too late. But, too late! But he got in there at least at some point. Now, the question... Okay, one last question I have is, do you... It's concerning the Transformers overall. Do you think it's going to be a full-on reboot? Or is it going to be like one of those soft reboots where it's the same universe, but we're going to deal with a whole new style of the Transformers, new characters. I think it's going to be a soft reboot. You think it's going to be a soft reboot? It's a soft reboot because... Guys, don't forget! Now, now, the reason I say soft reboot, and that's only because if God willing, knock on wood, this film does well, I think that's where they're going to probably change it from a full-on reboot to... Let's do a soft reboot because the way. Because don't forget the the last one ended with them teasing Unicron. Yeah, I know that much, and that's what I'm trying to say. It's like it's a type of thing where they need to, again, they they, they need to make sure pretty much uh, if this succeeds, if it does, God willing, story wise, it gets really good re- at least good reviews. That'll probably make the decision of let's do a soft reboot because. If and probably well. and probably bring back Haley Steinfeld's character. If she Final, yeah, that's right. If this film does well, if it doesn't, then they'll probably know. All right, so I'm just gonna do a full on reboot. Type of but thing. like we said, overall, there's a tiny smidge of hope for this one because it doesn't look that. It didn't look that bad. No, it didn't. It, it didn't look, tease. It didn't look bad. It was just showing a bit enough to go. This is what they're gonna be getting into a little bit. You know, this is how. Again, this teaser had me choked up throughout the, the this this trailer. This, this teaser just had me choked up and. I love that when a movie does that because it's like you know this character or you know this film franchise and especially this character and you know it's like he's such he's one of the most lovable characters mm-hmm. out of all of them because yeah. you care about him so much because he's like he's that he's like that every day one of us pretty much who's just like he's that scout pretty much that's the one you look up to pretty much type of guy and it's yeah. like I really I'm really hoping this movie does well I really do I really same, I'm hoping same here so and it's definitely not Michael Bay at all right uh, if I'm correct it's not Michael Bay well, but it's yeah. fine I'll go with that because I don't th- he didn't direct the last one I think he's producing no, he direct, he directed the uh, the, the previous, last one but I think he's producing this one that's fine as long as he's not directing it yeah and hopefully when the reboot comes he's not anywhere near it yeah. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. <laughs> and if you like just a little bit more to anybody else when it comes to talking about some Transformers, yes. hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this teaser. Did it also have you choked up? I mean, especially if you're a fan of the franchise, if you're a fan of Bumblebee overall, even like I said in the beginning when you hear Bernie Mac talking, like I said, it had me choked up for a bit, like I said before, but... Uh, you know, how did it, did it make you feel? Is it did it make you feel all choky and giddy on the inside, or just made it like made it made, made you feel like oh, no, crap, no? I hear how you make you feel. I hear a psychiatrist going, hmm. How does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Go on, go on. Um, but uh, listen, what you, you know, you know, if it's something where it just had you going on oh, another Transformers type of thing, you know, let us know in the comments below because everybody has their opinions on Transformers yeah. films. Some of them like them, some of them don't. Some of them are just like. I enjoy them, but that's it. You know, yeah. it's like something, it's something like a good popcorn watch. You know, yeah. let us know in the comments below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher, and this was a very Rickroll filled episode of SRB. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. See it later.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.